This is a Game Caviar production. I think that uh, in this case, whenever you play zombies, this is something that is always tackled better. If you have a team, one of the problems that I was running into while playing this was the fact that the team, it's just random people, it's nobody that I knew, but I went online and the team, they would either all leave or half of them would leave and that really screws up the flow of things. This is, well, you know what this is. If you play Black Ops, you know what level this is. For those of you who don't, this is Nuketown Zombies. Recently downloaded, didn't even know it came out. I happened to accidentally click on the store and I saw that Nuketown Zombies was available. So I downloaded it and this is me playing online, of course. I don't like this little pistol though. I need. To, I had to end up getting the M14. Uh, so that helped out a little bit. But you see how they have everything set up. It's your typical zombies. You got to bust down doors and and I didn't think that the houses were going to be or the homes they were going to be uh, boarded up and that you would have to pay to get inside of them. And now if you I would definitely get, I, I can't remember which house it was, but one of them allows you to go all the way upstairs and or in the back of the house and into the garage. So you don't have to pay to get that clutter moved out of the way. And the other one you do. So it's just that little tactical thing right there. And I thought that when I got upstairs, I was gonna be cool and just stay in that room and then hold out. But the zombies come in the windows, so you can do it. You just have to set yourself up in a way that protects your back at all times. That's one of the things that really uh, hurt me a lot is the zombies sneaking up on you. So stay mobile if you can, if you're in a wide open area. And if not, just keep your back to the wall and uh, set up some claymores, get your grenades ready and, you know, stuff like that. It's zombies for crying out loud. If you played zombies one time, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, I think I'm going to start a podcast. I've been doing a lot of research on that. And I don't know. I think I know exactly how I'm going to do it. But I need to do some testing and figure out exactly if, if, if I'm going to be able to do it. Of course, podcasts, you have to go through iTunes. What is what, what the podcast are is not going to be the videos that you see on this channel. Uh, so uh, what what is what the podcast would be is more like uh, vlogs and just ra daily random videos of me talking about life and things besides just YouTube like I'm still gonna talk about YouTube and video games and stuff like that but it'll be a wider scope of topics discussed on during the podcast and the only thing that's stopping me from doing it is or was stopping me from doing it is actually figuring out which website I need to upload it so that iTunes can actually take the feed and then automatically upload it onto iTunes so that people who subscribe to the podcast channel can download the videos automatically and they won't have to go through this the, they won't have to jump through hoops to get them I put I, I, and, it, and it was a while like a lot of research had to be taken into account for that because iTunes has it to where it's so difficult to actually do some uh, or get a podcast upload it and it all depends on the website that you use so I had to actually type in I had to do a lot of Google searching not soul searching but Google searching in order to figure out what website I want to use I think I don't know whether I can just do it with blogger.com I think I can but I'm not sure if that doesn't work I'm trying to explore all free options. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to figure out what's the cheapest website that I can just upload a video, have it hosted on there, and then go and, what is it, um, just set up the podcast channel through there. 
so hopefully in the next couple days I can figure this all out and I can start doing that and that's just another thing that could get more eyes on the channel and hopefully more subscribers and widening the fan base for the YouTube channel as well as the podcast channel and it, you know it could it could work you know and if everything is free then why not why not try it if you're not if you if you're not wasting any money or spending any money or in the position to lose any money then why not try it and even if I let's say I find I have to use a paid website and uh, it ends up like not being very popular at first I'm just gonna keep trying it to keep doing it because it's not gonna happen overnight and since I would already be in a position to pay for a site to host the videos then I would have more of a an incentive to continue doing it but I think it's gonna be pretty fun I think it's gonna be awesome actually I mean I don't I don't know exactly what the the, the exact reaction to it is gonna be but I honestly believe that people will enjoy it because it's gonna be a a really good take on uh, just my life and things that are going on with a comedic uh, tone to it so and as soon as I get everything set up and everything is confirmed to be working I will most definitely uh, give you guys the details and I will post it on the Facebook site and if you guys haven't gone to the Facebook site facebook.com game caviar <clears throat> well facebook.com slash game caviar uh, just like that site and I put all the information up on there and then you guys can go to iTunes and actually sign up and be notified or it'll instantly download whenever the new podcast episode is put up but anyway like this video I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios thank you for watching and I'm out this has been a Game Caviar production like this video and subscribe for more